Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum dear students Today's topic is artificial selection I am lecturer Mohammad Khan Gopal from Government Sayyid Nurman Shah Degree College Tarusha This topic is from first year zoology chapter 10 evolution Now first of all definition of artificial selection Selective breeding or artificial selection is breeding of domestic plants or animals or other organisms. Purpose of artificial selection is to produce specific desired features. As the name suggests, it is a man-made selection. As we know that for centuries, man has handpicked some species with desired traits over generations for selective breeding. As a result, the species are modified over time. The plants or animals will grow and rear for food at home have little resemblance to their wild ancestors. For example, various dog breeds. As we know that dogs descended from wolves Even today, wolves and dogs readily cross breed with each other. Despite their dissimilarity, a few modified dogs resemble wolves. This figure shows that different dog breeds are derived from their parent or ancestor, the wolf. When we closely observe wolf and the dog breeds, then they seem to be very different from each other. Now look at this video of the wolf. As we closely observe this wolf, it seems to be very different from the dog. Thousands of years ago, the dog was descended from such type of wolf ancestor. Now, this is a domestic dog breed. You see how it is very different from its ancestor, the wolf. Now, another type of example of uh, selective breeding is the tiger. Now this is a wild tiger which is totally different from the domestic breeds of tiger. White tiger is also a, an example of uh, selective breeding. Now look at this white tiger which is a domestic breed of wild tiger. This is totally different from its ancestor wild tiger. This white tiger is totally different in traits. Darwin concluded if humans could breed such radically different dogs in a few thousand years, it seemed quite plausible that natural selection could produce the varieties of living organisms in hundreds of million years. Nowadays, Selective breeding or uh, artificial selection is totally possible with the help of recombinant technology which has opened the door of evolution by artificial selection. Now in this recombinant technology which is the field of biotechnology DNA is manipulated, some genes are manipulated, they are selectively mutated to make them very different varieties of organisms. So this biotechnology helps in artificial selection. The main method in this biotechnology technique is using the CRISPR technology. 
by using crispr technology scientists are able to get different varieties of different organisms from ranges from bacteria to most complex and advanced animals now we will discuss different types of plants and their ancestors which are selectively breeded to make different varieties now this example in the center is the brassica oleracea which is a common wild mustard all the peripheral peripheral plants are derived from this central plant brassica oleracea these peripheral plants are nowadays domestically available they are kali broccoli cauliflower cabbage brussels sprouts and kohlrabi so the, uh, these are some examples of plants now when we see different types of flowers especially roses they are selectively breeded for their color different types of scents and different types of textures so these flowers are also examples of selective breeding now in last we will discuss about the drawbacks of artificial selection number 1 drawback is the gene pool will be reduced to limited number of alleles as we select some organisms their variety or their gene gene pool will be reduced because we select few alleles over other alleles so the variations in the genes will be compromised as those species are preferred they will be prioritized which have specific characteristics so the variations in those genes will be compromised there are low or less variations in those species due to the selective breeding as a result any disease may wipe out whole the population because they are alike genetically that's why if any disease occurs in that environment then whole the population of those organisms which are selectively breeded either those organisms are plants animals or other different types of organisms which are selectively breeded they may be wipe, wipe, wiped out from the surface of earth due to the similarity of their genetic makeup now the last point there will be temporary or permanent loss of wild varieties of organisms as we know that few uh, uh, 100 years ago different types of rices wheat and varieties of different corns maizes and other plants are not they are not available nowadays because they are selectively breeded that's why their wild varieties are not, no longer exist in modern days so these were the drawbacks of artificial selection in next lecture we will discuss more about the use of biotechnology and genetic engineering for the purpose of selective breeding or artificial selection khuda hafiz